Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We're here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. And in previous videos, when I was reviewing the uh, the steps involved in the Truva process, uh, one of the things we highlighted uh, was the need to vow never to do it again. You make a mistake, you acknowledge you make a mistake, and you make up for it, and part of the process is, I'm not going to do, I'm going to vow not to do that mistake again. I may do others, but I'm going to vow not to do that again. And I was reminded of a story of Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev. It is said that at the end of each day, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev would review his day, and if he saw anything that he did wrong, any, anything improper, he would vow, he says, Rabboni Shalom, I vow never to do that ever again. And then he kind of chided himself. He says, you know what? Yesterday, Levi Yitzhak also promised he would never do that again. But yesterday, he wasn't telling the truth. Today, I'm telling the truth. And... Um, When, when he thought about this, he came up with an interesting analogy about v vowing never to do things again and then going back. He compared it to a woman going through a very painful and very difficult childbirth. And she's just in such agony. And she vows, she swears to God that she will never let her husband touch her ever again. Um... But of course, after the child is born, um, she forgets her vow. And um, she gets pregnant again and has another baby. Same vow. Um, and Rabbi Levi Yitzhak would compare this to us uh, on Yom Kippur. We vow we will never do it again. And we end up doing it. Um, I'm going to read the exact full quote. He used to say, like a woman who suffers overwhelming pain and childbirth and swears she will never lie with her husband again and yet forgets her oath, so too on every day of atonement, on every Yom Kippur, we confess our faults and promise to turn and yet we go on sinning and you go on forgiving us. Um... Just because we may stumble again, and just because we may ask for forgiveness again, and just because God in his infinite mercy will forgive us again, we have to mean it. We can't do things by rote. When you catch yourself stumbling and says, I'm not going to do this again, I'm not going to uh, repeat this, even if in the back of their mind you know that it might happen, you cannot... Let that uh, sway you. Your vow not to do things again, the vow to get back on the track, has got to be sincere. Every time you do it. It has to be meaningful. Because if you're just going through the moves, then that's not tshuva. That's not repentance. That's not turning yourself around and getting back on the track. You're just going through the moves. And like we've been discussing in the last uh, few videos, uh, going through the moves, doing things by rote, that's not the way to serve God. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. I hope you're finding them of some inspiration, of some uh, use, and some helpfulness. Um, and until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.